Hi everybody, welcome to The Shot Clock alongside Suns Insider Scott Bordeaux. I'm Jay Diefenbach and let's start the clock. Scott, it's a tankathon in full force <laughs> so and is. the Suns <laughs> continue to dive to the bottom. Well, they've succeeded now. They yeah. are at the bottom as we sit here Monday morning. Um, top draft picks, I guess DeAndre Ayton is still the no-brainer even though that team was pretty soft in their elimination, but NBA people don't care about yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think it reflects on eight. You're not going to see those junk defenses in the NBA that college teams can throw at centers. If the Suns get the number one pick, I would be shocked if they didn't go eight. And look, Alex Lenz leaving here is an unrestricted free agent. Yeah. Tyson Chandler is one year left in this contract. He'd be the perfect mentor for a guy like Aiden. How about going forward with the core of Aiden, Booker, and Jackson? I not not shabby. I can see that. Okay, so let's say that the Suns have their typical luck and end up at two or three. <laughs> I'm saying Marvin Bagley because of the massive upside, but Luka Doncic seems to be the pick if they choose number two. Luka Doncic, you're going to have to go on YouTube and look at your highlight reel yes. to see uh, about him. What's your feeling on this? Uh, they love Luka. They've scouted him extensively yeah. over in Europe. He is another 18-year-old you'd have to draft, but they do need a point guard to play alongside Booker. He's got great height, great court vision. Everybody in the NBA thinks he's going to be a star, but I'm, I love Marvin Bagley, too. I think he's been undervalued yeah. in this draft. I do too. Well, let's talk about who's going to coach these guys. First of all, it was Triano. Booker gave him a, a, a vote of support a, a month or two ago. Now it's, well, it could be anything. Uh, what's your latest feeling on where this coaching search might go? Uh, good question. One name that surfaced, and it makes sense, is David Fisdale, the former Memphis coach, because he has a connection with James Jones. James Jones was a player in Miami when Fisdale was an assistant coach there. They've said they'll look at college coaches. Eric Musselman, who's doing a great job yeah. in Nevada, could be a candidate. I personally think Jay's done a pretty good job, but will they be able to publicly bring him back after this disaster of a season? A lot of news to sort through these next few weeks. Probably the least important is the Suns' actual games, but you're going to cover them anyway. I will be there anyway. Have a great road trip for Scott. I'm Jay. Have a great day.